Hey guys, welcome back to Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last time we left off down here in the depths by this crazy body thing. And Minoru told us to assemble a body by going to the four storehouses lit up down here. So that is our objective this time. Just makes me think of the 80s Ninja Turtles with uh, Shredder and Krang. Remember Krang, the big battle body guy? But he was like secretly that little like pink brain mush thing that with the annoying voice. <laughs> he was always like, Aroko Saki, where's my body? Left leg depot. Deep hot. How are we going to transport a leg? That's a leg. Alright, think Tears of the Kingdom. Ultra Hand first. Just rocket it up. Rockets. What's this do? Oh, that's a ramp. Oh, we gotta rocket it across a chasm. Uh. So maybe something like that. Am I seeing this right? Oh, hey, look at this. Where are the zone? Oh, all the way at the bottom. Okay. Maybe we need to utilize some of this stuff. What do we get? Rockets, steering stick, big wheel. Rockets, steering stick, and big wheel. Those are good parts. Here's my idea. One singular rocket. Can it launch us as well if we, like, stand here? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. It worked. Grab this thing? Okay. Weird choice to put water here. Now what do we do? Oh, the thing's right down there. But there's a... A drop. So what does that mean? And what's all this about? Okay, but we could also run up here, but not really because there's a laser grid. Can we climb by any chance? Yes, we can. All that for a bomb flower? Oh no, there's stuff. I wonder why they put the rockets there, then. Large zone, I... Right? Were they expecting you not to jump and climb like I just did? Take it. It's free supplies. Free stuff is good stuff. Are you guys familiar with this place called Ollie's Bargain Outlet? Do you have that near you? Oops. 
Because that place, like all over inside on the walls, it seems like they have... They advertise basically being junk. Like they pride themselves on being cheap or something. I don't know. It's an interesting place. How does it know? That's one. Bring the other three here as well, Link. Okay. That's cool that it knows and instantly shatters like that. Uh, let's go to this one, I guess. Into the darkness. It's not good. Oh, wait a minute, there's a root up here. Alright, does this mean we have to go through the crazy... Yes, we, we have to do it. It's part of it. I know I can sort it. I know it says sort by pressing Y, but I'm not gonna do it. Because <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. There we go, we found him. If that was me, I would put the bright bloom seeds up near the top along with like the rest of your supplies. I don't know why they sort them to the bottom. Does this just go all the way up to the root? Because that would be pretty cool. They even have it behind the King Zora scale, which is weird. <laughs> so backwards, that's Joe Hishu. Do we have that shrine? I don't know. Because, yeah, all these light roots are the shrines above them backwards. Alright, where was the, the green doorway? I think we gotta go over where these things are flying. Yeah, because it's over there. It would be easier to glide from the platform that they're guarding. So let's scroll all the way to the eyeball. <laughs> oh, that's not so bad. Gloom guys make me nervous. Oh, he went down no problem, though. He's always just blue, that's why. Alright, dodge the gloom. This is a crazy thing. But it was down here, the doorway. Yeah, there it is. We could probably just glide to it from here. Right leg depot, all right. I wasn't sure what we were going for. What have we 
we doing? Putting it here and smacking the fans. Taking us up, okay. That's easy enough. Now what? Attach this to that. Yeah. Something like that. Whoa. Wait a minute, that should work though. Yeah, there we go. And then, oh, we need a fan. I wonder if I can steal the fans down here. Or if I need to use my own. Oh, yeah. Man, it's killing my battery. All those fans. You can't eat all those hamburgers. Well, we gotta wait for the battery to recharge now. So how you guys doing? Waiting on my coffee. Gotta ascend up there, it looks like. Whoa, that didn't work at all. Oh, because there's... Hang on, it's because of that thing. If you're getting caught on that thing, we gotta flip it this way. And then the fan is in the wrong spot now. You can't eat all them hamburgers. <laughs> Stupid family guy thing. There it goes. Look at it go. That's pretty cool. Clever stuff. This game keeps blowing my mind, man. I think it's, like, more creative than Breath of the Wild, even. Just because of, like, the funky stuff you gotta build. Now, what, are we done with this L-shaped thing? Or U-shaped? Up we go! Or not. It's too heavy with the fan, maybe? What? Who said to pick recall? Huh? I'm confused as to why this is not working, unless it's just getting stuck on that thing. It'd be getting caught on that thing. <laughs> Why is that in my head? Uh, I don't know. Stealing a fan. We might need it. Whoa. Oh. All right, there's some more fans over here. All this for a leg? Okay, well, what do we do? Turn this on. It'll go nowhere. There's stuff over there. How do we ascend? You can't ascend in water. Fans? What appears to be a track for a glider. Somewhere down there is the body thing. There has to be a glider nearby. Why else would they put these tracks here?
Climbing. How soon we forget. There we go. Hey, check this out. I guess we do need that to, because who knows if it's like left or right down there, I don't know. Can we just plop this over there without any kind of craziness? Yeah. Okay, so the first thing is we gotta attach this. That's gonna weigh it down like crazy. I hope it's to the left. <laughs> Maybe the fan will... Uh, like, I wonder if I should put the... Well, that's no good. There we go. I wonder if I should put the control panel on the, like, the right side to balance it out, but maybe it doesn't matter. Alright, here goes nothing. Alright, you know, Bo, where are we going? Into the middle thingy, I recognize that. Oh, it's off to the right then. Well, it worked. One way or another. Oh, what the heck? How does it know? And that's another part. Two left. Now for the arms. Can we still use this thing, or is it probably not worth it anymore? There's gonna be like their own kind of puzzles going on in here. So I think we're okay to leave it. At least these things are pretty straightforward to get to. Although that one was... We had to battle some enemies. What the? Trees. Oh, okay. What is this? Left or right? Left arm depot. Sign. Hmm. Can we just like sneak under there with recall? Let's go faster. Dang it, I missed the bus. I guess it's not going back up. Man, you gotta be quick. I wonder... Oh, I thought maybe that was like just weighing it down and it would open. I don't know, why is the wheel on? Poor 
through. Now what? Lava. And lava. We do know we can drive on lava. All right, now we got to make sure the wheels go the same way. <laughs> Not having any of that craziness happening again. All right, going that way, going that way. Good. Steering shaft. That's pretty easy. Oh, that's pretty crooked. There we go, that's perfect. Alright, Yanobo, we did it. Austin Powers for a minute here. Just drive this way? Oh no, we gotta orient it differently, probably. I wonder why they give you a third wheel. So if we make it wide... We're gonna have to shift the shaft too. Yeah, put the wheels on the outside. Stand in the middle. What the heck? Who said to go over there? I said go in the middle. I guess that works. Alright, we're going the same way. Slot it in. That's pretty cool that it slots in. Curious what's up here. Blink. Having trouble with the ladder there. Grand Po? Well, it was worth 20. Might be too wide. Yeah, I, I can't work that fast. Oh, now it's not even opening. Whoops. Alright, up, down, recall, ultra hand. All right, we're through. Color back in the scene here. Now are we ditching the wheels for fans to cross the water? Would that work? There's a treasure chest on that fan. We 
can leave the steering shaft on there, I would assume. Yeah, let's just orient it vertically again. Well, we gotta put the fans on it. Oh. Maybe we can operate with just one fan. I was gonna put two on it, but... How do we get this... Thing? Like that. Test this out. See if it works. Oh, we're moving. Oh, we're moving. Oh, jeez. The steering is not very good. I think I needed to get up there. The current is more powerful than the fan. Just let the current take us, I guess. Hey, quit your alarm blaring thing. That's so crazy how it knows to break it. I don't know why that baffles me. One more left, Link. The body for my spirit is nearly complete. Okie dokie. This one looks like we just ascend up to it. I thought this thing would be a boss. I don't know. I guess it's a friendly thing we're building. Okay, well that's just a clearly a conveyor belt. All right, I gotta lay it flat. I thought it would just fall flat on its own. No. <laughs> Gotta be perfect, I guess. Why is that wheel just sitting there? <laughs> well, I'll be draining my battery now. 
And a huge gap. How the heck do we get it to drive across the electricity? like a notch in the block maybe the wheel goes on the notch this is weird I'm not seeing how this fits on there I just I need to see it work stay on stay on finally dude I had to look it up and then that didn't even help okay now what to cross gloom so I guess we still need the wheels oh we're building a car is what we're doing that's not what I want you can just go right on top of there I don't know why they gave us two of these slabs let's make a s'mores of right arm. <laughs> Looks tasty. Yeah, I'm just gonna make a car. That previous room was annoying, man. I failed it so many times and it makes you go all the way up the conveyor belt again. Definitely gonna be cutting that out, cause that was rough. I don't know who thought of that puzzle, but uh, it's just weird. The fact that it could drive across that electric block. Is that even? Yeah, good enough. Our little s'mores machine. Is there a driving shaft? Yeah. Oh, hey. Look what I see. Drive this thing home. Well, look at these guys. Take some Yanovo. Yeah, what's your horn gonna do? Uh oh. We're stuck. This is not good with that big dude down back there. You know, Bo, push it. Dude. Oh, uh, 
We're dancing here. We're dancing like a moron. I'll recall that. Yeah, thank you, sir. What are they throwing shock fruits at me? I like how recall just lets you like just stand there. Yeah, eat that. And then uh smack you guys. Oh man, I'm a little bit scared. Wait a minute, what if we just You know about get back on the thing? I don't know why that didn't occur to me right away to use Ultra Hand just to get over the hill. Holy crap! So much for our s'mores. We have assembled a body. Now what happens? Thank you, Link. Now only one task remains. We must recover my secret stone. It should be located here. Please, Link, let us go there together. The path will be very dangerous. Fortunately, this construct body you have built for me is hardly helpless. There is a platform nearby where we can explore its potential. Now hurry, Link. We must recover my secret stone. Minoru Link can ride on Minoru's construct. Whoa, where's the I forgot about the car. This is crazy. Left hand, right hand. It's like they took inspiration from their own game arms. The weapons here can draw forth the true power of this construct. Attach one to a hand, and your power in combat will be magnified several fold. Several fold? That's a weird word. Uh -huh. Stop at each armory along the way. Get accustomed to operating this construct so that you are prepared for whatever you may face. You can attach things to the hands or back. This is weird. Yeah. Metal plate, I guess we want on our back. What's this thing? Shock emitter. What's the other one? Flame emitter. Yeah, we'll go with the shock. I'm coming for you, Bacoblins. Oh, I win. Oh, jeez. I didn't know they could still hurt me. Not as powerful as I would like it to be. I 
I'm getting gloom punched. Put that down, sir. Put it down. What happened to my spike ball? Can dismount it, okay. Oh, and then it goes autopilot? That's crazy. Thank you, Minoru. Almost be better to stay as Link rather than ride it, but I guess even though the waypoint is behind us, it wants us to go this way. <laughs> Junk first. So many fish from that Enox. This battery is about to die. What happens then? Oh, we get slow as molasses. Yeah, still got away from that. Okay. I guess it's not the first time you ride on top of something in Zelda. I'm probably supposed to have more battery charges by now anyway. I don't even know, honestly, how you get that. Yes. A Zonai device, when attached to the construct's back, can greatly... Increased mobility, speed would be our ally here. Well, let's rock it the heck out of here. I don't think much of this battle body here. didn't do anything. Go back. Get the fan instead. Man, if not for those allies, I would be screwed. Because they'd all be targeting me instead, uh, guaranteed. Rocket on the arm, fan on the back. What the heck? He came flying out of nowhere. I got a lot of gloom damage right now. It's making me nervous. Get out of the way! <laughs> it's so stupid. Thank you, Riju, for distracting that moblin.
There's nothing we can do but wait out until the battery comes back and hope that they just stay distracted. Thank God for the wind-up time, too. Get out of my way. I got places to be. Hmm. Attaching the proper weapon to this construct will enable it to attack distant enemies. Take careful aim and the tide of battle will turn in our favor. Get away from me, I'm thinking about the buttons. That rocket did nothing. I'm getting ZL and at normal L confused. Not a good situation at all. Get away, bats! Get away, bats! I'm going to the light route. At least we can walk on gloom in this thing. The waypoint is to our north. We're walking right for it, and there's a light route, which means I can heal. Will you get out of the way? Or I mean, like, come up here? Utogis. Did we hit Utogis? I can't remember these shrine names. That was a lot of gloom, man. Thank you, Henox, for the fish. Oh, and thank you, Minoru, for getting up that cliff somehow. Whoops. Yep. Hey, speaking of Henoxes, this could be really bad, actually. Our battery's gonna run out by the time we get to it. Yeah, that beam did nothing. It's an interesting idea, I guess, but it kind of takes away from what makes Zelda Zelda. Uh -huh. We're close now to the secret stone. Draw forth the hidden power in this construct and press onward. What do we have to choose from them? Cannons! Spiked iron ball. That's pretty cool. I like the cannon. battery we can't use it it almost feels like I'm playing an entirely different game right now
that enough to clear the way? <coughs> stones? Well, that's convenient. Things about run its course. Spirit Temple, but this construct cannot climb up a sheer cliff face, but it can be modified. Uh -huh. We're gonna rock it up there. Spike cannon rocket. I'm ready. Let's go. for the battery to charge a little bit otherwise the rocket's not going to go all the way probably spirit temple a whole other dungeon It's just like a brief thing. Get a fast travel point and everything. Although now I don't know what's happening. The stone is right there. Bad feeling about this. of something monstrous. If the Demon King has turned my creation into his pawn, we must defeat it. 
We can do this together, Link. Let's go. We have to stop that contract. Sit down. That works. Alright, I don't know what you're doing. I can do that too, Paul. What you gonna do? Pretty cool, actually. All right, run away, run away from that as slowly as we move. This cannon comes in handy. Great, now what? It brought out more arms. Be careful. Can I just shoot it down? Another approach. Ouch. Okay. Time out for fish. Thank you. nervous that makes me really nervous don't get thrown off by our fast if it stops then attack that's what I'm doing mineral almost there almost there you've almost done it man. remain ready for anything Sit the crap down! Dang it! Yeah, what do you know about that Samus Aaron business? strange but I enjoyed it I didn't enjoy the trek so much but the fight was fun Still got our stuff. Second row? No, not yet. Is there a second row of hearts? There always is.
Zelda asked me to aid you, Link. I am the Sage of Spirit, and one of the Zonai. I am glad to meet you, Link. I must thank you. It is because of you that we have recovered my secret stone. Originally, my intent was to awaken when you first found the Porapad, then to guide you to my construct and assist you on your journey. I had not anticipated a battle with that same construct. You have proven quite adept, and I am grateful for all your efforts. Link, here. In the name of Minoru, Sage of Spirit, I grant my power unto you. I believe it will serve you well. With this power I've given, a deep bond has been forged between us. And from this point forward, my spirit will reside within that construct. I will help you however I can. All right. Aha! Uh -huh. I am one who lived in the distant past, in the age of Hyrule's founding. Circumstances forced me to forsake my body and become a being of pure spirit. Long have I slumbered within Zelda's Purapad in order to share what I knew when it passed into your hands. I apologize that our meeting has been so long delayed. The Demon King's interference is to blame. Nevertheless, I ask your pardon. Well then. Now, on to the topic at hand. In my own age, the distant past from your perspective Zelda awakened as the Sage of Time and appeared before us. What I must relate to you is a tragedy that occurred in Hyrule's history. At its crux was Zelda who held a secret stone and traversed time. Uh -huh. She made a momentous decision in those days gone by. I would have you know to resolve of the resolve she poured into the blade, the Master Sword. Long ago, my people, known as the Zonai, came down from the heavens to the surface of the world. It was said they were descendants of gods. They bore treasures from these same gods, secret stones capable of amplifying the abilities of those who possessed them. Using the knowledge of the Zonai, my younger brother Raru became a great leader. He met a young woman named Sonya and they would wed. Raru gifted Sonya one of the secret stones. Together, they sought to establish their kingdom. This is how the kingdom of Hyrule, with Raru and Sonya as its first king and queen, came to be. The future looked bright. However, tragedy suddenly struck. A man of great evil emerged from the desert. The leader of the Gerudo, Ganondorf, killed Queen Sonya and stole her secret stone. Using the secret stone, Ganondorf transformed into the Demon King. He then created swarms of monsters and attacked. Hyrule rose up to face these threats. But the evil power driving the monsters forward was staggering. The defenders were on the brink of defeat. Raru then came up with a plan to turn the tide of the war. 
He entrusted secret stones to warriors with exceptional abilities. They became sages and united in an effort to finally defeat the Demon King. Raru and the sages outnumbered the Demon King and should have been able to stop him. However... The Demon King's power had grown far beyond anything we could have imagined. I was unable to withstand his strength. Our fight appeared all but lost. And then, Robert. committed himself to one final act. so smug. I know exactly what it will cost me. <laughs> Raru! <laughs> Thousands of years will pass on the brink of an eye. You won't delay the inevitable. You're wrong. Years from now, someone will appear with the sword that seals the darkness. A swordsman with the power to defeat you. Link, remember this name. That music, man, is crazy from the intro. Uh -huh. You know this tragedy as the Imprisoning War. Though it took all we were able to give, we succeeded in imprisoning the Demon King. But I was wounded in the process. My body was soon to expire. Well then. That is when Zelda came to me, bearing a decayed and broken sword. Yes, you will recall how the Master Sword vanished from your hand at the Temple of Time. From there, it traveled into the distant past, appearing in Zelda's hands. And now you hold it once again. You're saying that sword traveled through time the same way you did? Yes, but more importantly, in my original time, the Demon King was vulnerable to even the smallest piece of this sword. Even someone like him has vulnerabilities. Hmm. Then, what exactly are you suggesting we do with the sword? Over time, the Master Sword is able to absorb sacred power. It can heal itself, and even grow stronger. Curious. If we were able to empower it in that way, 
It could be the key to defeating the Demon King. But it could take centuries for that sword to grow strong enough. The power the Demon King wields. I do not see how this can be done. It would be impossible for you to provide it with sacred power for so long. I can think of one way. You mean... Yes, I can do it. I have to. I've told you. That act is forbidden. For a very good reason. It would mean throwing yourself away. <laughs> oh, Minoru. <gasps> You... won't be able to change back. The moment I had the sword, I knew what to do. I knew this was why I came to this era. I... I want to restore the Master Sword and deliver it to Link. You really have made up your mind? <sighs> Very well then. As a Zonai, I bear my share of blame for these events. So I too will devote myself to this goal and to this hero of yours. For the Swordsman Link, I will do everything I can. Even if my body should perish, I will still be with you in spirit. Afterwards, Zelda and I discussed strategy. We laid the groundwork for guiding you in the distant future. Well then. Before the gloom's affliction took my life, I became a spirit and entered the Pura Pad. That's weird. Then Zelda did what she felt she must and began the forbidden process. She believed you would use the Master Sword to defeat the Demon King and restore peace to Hyrule. Uh -huh. You already have in your hand the hope that Zelda left you, the sword that seals the darkness, the Master Sword. Well then. Go now, Link. With the sword of hope that Zelda left to you, you will surely smite Demon King Ganondorf. The Vow of Minoru. So we can summon this robot anytime. Guidance from ages past complete. Trail of the Master Sword. What is it glow now? Oh no, it's complete. We already got it. Man. Yes. Are we really that close to the end? Well then. What's this guy doing over here? I need more materials. I've been tasked by Minoru with gathering materials from the depths. This was to aid in her research. Your efforts have allowed me to return to my duty. I offer my deepest thanks. This is one of the fruits of my exca excavation. Take it with my gratitude. Ancient blade. Too small to use as a weapon, but can be used as an arrowhead? offer you one ancient blade for every 50 pieces of zonite. 
I wonder how many of these I want to have. We'll get one. So now we have two. It's definitely very good, but you can only fuse it with arrows? This is just like a Zonite shop. All right, man, a lot just happened. It's got me thinking about the Zelda timeline and how botched up that is now. Like, wasn't Skyward Sword the founding of Hyrule? And now they're saying it's Raru and Sonya? power to summon the construct it doesn't even look like a ghost it's just there yeah I don't know what to say man I just I don't know I wonder if there's going to be another line, another timeline with Dragon Zelda and everything. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Sorry it was a little long, but a lot just happened. So uh, I'll see you next time for something. Take care.